since its debut in 2011, the Ducati Diavel has undergone some significant changes. The 1,198cc Testastretta L-twin engine that powered the Diavel at first was rated at 162 horsepower. Ducati produced this Diavel in 2016, which included more traditional cruiser style and ergonomics, as well as a new 1,262cc Testastretta L-twin engine that offered greater low-end torque. In 2019, Ducati unveiled the Diavel 1260, which combined the best features of both models. With the release of the 2023 Ducati Diavel V4, a motorcycle with a 1,158cc V4 Gran Turismo engine that produces acclaimed 168 horsepower and 93 pounds foot of torque, Ducati is altering the Diavel game once again this year. Muscular, sporty, exaggerated and elegant at the same time, able to magnetize attention in any context, Diavel V4 synthesizes seemingly distant technical, dynamic and stylistic features, such as those of sport nakeds and muscle cruisers. The exhilarating performances of the V4 Gran Turismo engine are combined with surprising agility and dynamics for such a motorcycle. The Diavel adopts the 1,158cc V4 Gran Turismo engine, a central element of the bike's design, and at the same time a technical choice that improves performance, dynamics and riding pleasure. The Diavel V4 features a chassis with a monocoque frame and single-sided swingarm, both made of aluminum, which combined with the lightness of the V4 Gran Turismo results in a curb weight without fuel of 491 pounds, for a saving of more than 28.6 pounds, compared to the Diavel 1260S. The Diavel V4's design is centered around the V4 Gran Turismo power plant. Due to the counter-rotating crankshaft, which lessens the gyroscopic impact while enhancing the bike's agility, Ducati claims that this technological decision simultaneously increases performance, dynamics, and riding enjoyment. The Dismosidisi Stradale of the Panigale and the Street Fighter V4 are the ancestors of the lightweight and small V4 Gran Turismo. The twin pulse firing order, together with a dedicated exhaust system developed with great attention to sound quality, unmistakably characterizes the stamp of the V4 Gran Turismo. The fully adjustable Diavel V4 suspension consists of 1.9-inch diameter upside-down forks, with compression and preload adjustment on the left tube, and rebound on the right tube, and a single shock absorber with a separate piggyback reservoir. The wheel travel is 4.7 inches at the front, and 5.7 inches at the rear, 0.6 more than Diavel 1260, with positive effects on the comfort of both the rider and the passenger. At the front, the braking performance of the Diavel V4 is guaranteed by Brembo brakes with Stalima radial monoblock calipers, operated by a PR1619 radial brake master cylinder, with integrated aluminium reservoir, acting on two 13-inch diameter floating discs. At the rear, on the other hand, the 10.4-inch diameter disc is braked by a two-piston caliper, also produced by Brembo. The Diavel V4 is fitted with five-spoke wheels featuring an exclusive design with machine surfaces. At the front, the wheel rim is 3.5 by 17, while at the rear, there is an 8.0 by 17 rim. A 120/70 CR17 tire is mounted on the front rim, while the rear tire is 240/45 CR17. The tires are Pirelli Diablo Rosso 3.
the riding position of the Diavel V4 continues to be sporty but comfortable and accessible, with a saddle positioned at 31.1 inches from the ground and completely redesigned to offer greater longitudinal space, support and strong acceleration and ample freedom of lateral movement of the body when leaning, thanks also to the excellent connection with the tank and to the foot pegs located in a central position. On the Diavel V4 the wide and raised handlebars have been brought 0.7 inches closer to the rider's body to improve comfort and control in all situations. The operating parameters of each control are associated by default with the four riding modes with which the Diavel V4 is equipped. Sport, Touring, Urban and the new Wet mode, designed specifically for low-grip surfaces. Each riding mode includes a power mode, which defines the maximum level of power that can be delivered in engine response, and the intervention levels of the electronic riding aid systems.